I'm a researcher in the area of textile design. So I've been working with my colleague Kate. We're interested in what might the future of fashion and textile industry be. I was trained in knitting, which is about constructing something from nothing. So I'm looking at these new technologies to open up a whole new line of fabric potentials. So rather than just designing one object, you actually design the system for an object to emerge. When I'm working in terms of as a fabric, I'm also having to think about the body. And that's where my colleague comes into it. I come from a background in traditional garment construction, basically working in 2D dimension. And the opportunity for body scanning allows us to have an alternate view of the body. For me in particular, it's about being able to identify diversity within body uh, not only size but also shape. I've chosen to start starting to work in 16th scale because I've also been trialling the 3D printing technologies and it's a scale that allows me to actually first of all see a variety of shapes and look at different body forms. Um, traditionally we tend to have a fairly cookie cutter kind of approach to that in terms we have size increments that are fairly rigid or inflexible. So this is a way to be able to see how garments do fit within the body and not necessarily within our traditional breaks of size variations. Sizing was first probably put in, demonstrated in a manufacturing context for making uniforms for the American Civil War, which allowed for um, people to standardise their systems of clothing rather than having to be a, home, a homemade or independent. The digital printer changed how we're designing as textile designers. So in the past, we've always had to work in repeats and with a limited colour palette. Now, this technology allows us to print on demand a million colours at a time and a million patterns at a time. Suddenly, complexity doesn't add a cost to the product. So when you're working with a 3D printer, all manner of polymers that have performance characteristics that we've yet to really imagine will be possible. Our clothes at present are quite passive. You have to think, I'm hot, so I'll take my jumper off. There's um, yarns that might respond to different environments. If it's too moist, too humid, it might change and allow it to be more breathable as a fabric. So these sorts of things are out there today. So what we're interested in is how do you bring that into the mainstream? It has lots of ramifications, particularly in terms of healthcare. You can be scanned according to what your end needs are. We have this thing about wanting to be average all the time. So, you know, we take it, all the data, we add it up, and we work out who is the average person, um, which isn't necessarily the best way to go about it because we need to use some form of multivariate analysis to say what are the relationships between people within various size categories. Because if we just keep replicating the average, which is, which is how we tend to think about how we grade our size, we end up not fitting anyone. The hobbyist will always be there. So the idea of sitting in front of the fire and knitting, well, quite likely we'll be still doing that but maybe we're 3D printing. In the future, there, there may be a time where you could walk into a shop and could have a garment potentially printed out, which could go straight to a, a knitting machine and then can be customised according to what data you're putting your shape into. I think in the future, instead of a garment having to travel all around the world to go through all the different processes, it could be a far more automated and efficient process. To not only look after the environment, to also look at the ethics of labour situations, where their designs and their products, what the impact of that design is so we can close the loop on these processes. That fashion is really about personal identity. You can identify so much about a person from what they're wearing. That's not about to change. How and what we value will shift and our clothes and our fashion will reflect that.